guys, welcome to Team Talk here at the Griffin Higgins team. Uh, today I wanted to talk about home inspections. I wanted to explain a little bit on the seller side and the buyer side of how things work on a home inspection. In most deals in this area on residential property, uh, resales, and some new construction, we ask for home inspections and we uh, encourage our buyers to get home inspections on the property. Um, two things that that does. One, that the inspector is going to go through and look at everything in the house, electrical, crawl space, heating and air, roof, everything to their capability that they can look at. It's going to give us a report and it's going to, usually they break them down with uh, major concerns, minor concerns, or just general maintenance of the house. Um, what we do is, in that, at that point, we look at the major concerns and we look at big ticket items. If there's anything that's going to be a real big uh, expense for the buyer in a short period of time moving forward. So that is a negotiation. We sit down, we talk with the buyer, we then could request things um, to the seller and then the seller has to agree. That can be agreed upon in either one, yes we'll fix it, two, no we'll not fix it, or we'll fix some of them but not all, or a money amount. So it is a true negotiation as far as the home inspections concerned and other inspections just like negotiating on the price of the home. Um, what I will say is it is very important when the buyer does have a home inspection to go through with the home inspector and walk through the house, take a look at everything that they're inspecting. In that sense, the home inspection is not just for those major items, it's to show where shutoffs are, it's to show where the filters are for the heating system, it's to show little oddities or anything that the inspector that knows more than usual, the usual home buyer will explain that to, to the buyer. That way when they move in they'll say, oh I remember the home inspector explained that and that will help them in the purchase of the process moving, in, uh, moving forward for the purchase of that house. So there's two things, um, home inspections and all inspections are very important. Uh, depending on if you're, if you're paying cash for an investment property, sometimes in this market there are no home inspections that are done and everybody that you're bidding against does not do home inspections, but you need to do as much due diligence as you can. So, um, you know, we, hand, we walk our clients through the inspection process, we sit down, we review the report, we talk to our clients about what they are asking for, and if we need to get other contractors to give us pricing or anything like that, we will do that before we move forward. That way our clients know exactly what they have going on. Um, on the seller side, usually, like I said, all major deals are gonna have a home inspection. So with the seller, um, when we represent the seller, we usually get a list, a report, and um, an explanation of that report, and we look at a few things, uh, safety, and functionality are very important. So if, you know, if there's things that are going to be a hindrance to the buyer safety-wise, then more than likely they're gonna be asked for. Uh, functionality means that if the dishwasher is working and you say it's working in the disclosure and at the time that the offer's put in, if that's not working at the time, usually that's asked for. So like I said, all in negotiation, but we're here to help. We, we do these every day. We, we, negotiate these, we know the contractors to bring in, we know really good inspectors, we've got several that we recommend out and, and use quite a bit. So um, as always, we're here for you. We would like to walk you through the step of buying or selling a house and a home inspection is a big part of that on both sides. So, all right, well have a great day. It's beautiful outside.